All right. Good evening, Saturday. Welcome to the whole lot of Zeb channel. I'm Rick. And I got a special video today. Um, I received in the mail yesterday uh, an ROAK from our good friend XLT Off Road Bear. Um, I, I, uh, went ahead and removed the, uh, address from the label, and, um, I read the note, um, so I kind of know what's in the box, but I didn't really go in the box, I just read the note, so, um, I'm kind of familiar with some of the things that are in the box, um, but not everything. Uh, again, this is from uh, our good friend Joe from XLT Off Road Bear. So while I get this set up, um, please enjoy this custom 1970 Chevelle by Hewitt's Hot Wheels. This is just one example of what this guy does. Um, if you have not done so, go check his channel out, Hewitt's Hot Wheels. He does phenomenal custom work. You'll see more on his channel if you, if you go check it out and subscribe to him. say Joe First up here from my buddy Joe. Um, I, I knew this about Joe. He's uh, uh, it, it, it's his favorite fantasy casting, the Carbonator. Um, so that's that's like Joe's uh, business card, if you will. Like um, I, I try to send out a, a Led Zeppelin Hot Wheel to everybody, um, and I still a couple, couple people uh, a Zeppelin Hot Wheel. So don't think I forgot about you because I didn't. Um, but anyway, this is what what Joe does when when he uh, gives things out. Um, uh, he, he, he usually includes a, a carbonator, and uh, th I think that's cool. This is the second one I've I've gotten. Um, uh, our good friend Diecast Clown had uh, gifted me one um, sometime back as well. Uh, Target Red Edition. Um, still learning about the Hot Wheels. I'm still learning. <clears throat> but that is awesome. Thank you, Joe. Put that off to the side. Next up, we have here, I've been wanting this. Um, it's like this guy reads my mind. Uh, it's the 87 Buick Regal GNX. awesome as I'm knocking Memphis off the turntable Oh, 
school. So I've been, I'm just, I would say within the past few weeks, starting to have an appreciation for like the uh, the rally cars and uh, and uh, some of the uh, the uh, J imports. And uh, again, this is, I, I, I appreciate this. I remember these cars. Um, this is a 1970 Toyota Celica. Um, again, this is an R.A.O.K. from uh, my good buddy XLT Off-Road Bear, Joe. I'm sure you all know him. Um, great guy in the community. Um, anything you need to know about Ford, that guy's the man to go to. Um, I, I'm sure a Ford fan is uh, another good source of Ford information as well. Um, and here we have the Honda Civic SI. That's a sweet one in black. Thank you so much, Joe. I just appreciate this community in general. I know I sound like a broken record, but um, this community is such a generous community. Um, it's, I, I, I really do enjoy being a part of this. Um, and and it, I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's, it's always a, a humbling experience. Um, one to appreciate as well, um, and are okay um, because they're, they're they're such well thought out and they're 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 gifted, personal, and it, it, it's from the heart from the person that gave it to you because because they they appreciate your your friendship. Maybe it's just a YouTube friendship, but it's still nonetheless. It's a friendship, and uh, and of all things, it's what we share, the diecast. And we love to show it off, or we wouldn't have these channels, because we also love to see what everybody else is showing off. It, it, it's just like, it, it works out great on, on a twofer scale. <clears throat> and uh, up here is... Um, um, Joe had uh, made a comment about this um, in his notes, in the letter he sent me, rather, excuse me. Um, when he had shown this, I, 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 am, I am really shocked uh, to have this, and, and I'm new to this brand. So... Uh, um, I have another version of this, and I, Joe, I, I, I really thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, this is really cool. Um, I've never had one before, but I've seen people speaking of them, especially on Joe's channel. Um, what I have here is an Austin Mini Cooper in green, and yeah, there it is. Union Jack. Um, this is such an iconic car for me. Um, just it just is, and and I've never had this brand before, uh, so this is new to me. Um, and uh, probably tomorrow, um, I'll take a closer look at at. Um, at these things, uh, and I'll, I'll present them on the turntable. Uh, th this is a beautiful car, Joe. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm grateful. Um, just wow, thank you. I mean, thank you. That that is so cool. Um, they, I'm on, everybody knows I like Mini Coopers and. The Chevelle is, is my thing. It's just I, I'm a hardcore Chevelle guy, and and of all things, 
Um, being a, a hardcore muscle car guy, I, I love one of Britain's most smallest cars. <laughs> it's just such a weird thing, but whatever. I just love, I, I have an affection for cars in general. Um, it may not be as broad as some of you guys um, that had channels, but um, nonetheless, um, I... I do have an appreciation for all types of cars, and that just shows an example from the Chevelle to an Austin Mini Cooper. Now there's something here wrapped in bubble wrap in, in, a, in a box. This was, see, because I read the note. Um, I, I, I'd have more of a surprise. I wish I held off on reading the note, but I believe the note's kind of more important than reaching in the box to see what was given to you. The, the note is more important. Um, but I, I should have saved the note, and I would have been a little bit more surprised. But irregardless uh this is a kyosho uh 911 turbo uh, this is beautiful um this is only the second example of a kyosho that i have the first one is uh the lamborghini countach which we all had a poster of hanging up on our walls growing up. But look at this. That That's like... That reminds me of the Paris 64 uh, yellow bird in black. It looks very similar. Um, wow. This is beautiful. Sorry, I, I gotta bring it up a little closer to the camera here so you guys can check this out. They did a good job with the uh, Porsche badge on the hood there, lensed headlights. sure if the uh, if the tail on that is is a, a motorized tail or it's stationary um, I know I, I've seen I've been on behind a couple Porsches before where it, it could have been just the Carrera but I've seen the uh, the tail elevate as the car was picking up speed um, so I didn't know if maybe any of their other cars that have uh, tails on them are, are mechanical in, in a sense or if they're stationary. Um, I should read up on that because I'm curious. Uh, I love Porsches. Then this is beautiful. Joe, again. Uh, my goodness, thank you so much. Um, that that was a Kyosho Porsche 911 Turbo. Um, that's uh, in itself alone is a very uh, humbling, very humbling gift. Um, along with the Norev. Um, This one I am excited about because uh, when I read the note, I, I just started like palpitating. <laughs> so, to round out this sweet little gift box from my good buddy Joe at XLT Off Road Bear, and if you have not subscribed to him or are familiar with him, um, I recommend checking out his channel uh, again it's XLT 
off-road bear. Great guy. Um, well liked in the community. Um, if you don't know Joe, you don't know Joe. If you don't know Joe, you don't know Jack. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> All right, so here it is. This is the 1970s Chevelle from Fast and Furious. Dom's primer of the Chevelle. That is awesome. No, there is never never enough Chevelles, never. I think anybody that uh, has, an, has a Chevelle affection uh, would say the same. Uh, but for me, this there is just, the Chevelle was the muscle car that set the standard for all muscle cars. As That's just my opinion. But I, I'm also a, a Chevelle fanatic, too, so <laughs> maybe partial. Um, excuse me while I flip the uh, turntable. Yeah, I said flip the turntable. I meant flip the final. <clears throat> I'm going to flip the turntable. So, yes, I have another Chevelle to add to my collection, and this is so sweet. Joe, my friend, thank you so much. Um, I, I, I can't thank you enough, buddy. Uh, that, that was very kind of you. <clears throat> um, well, while I'm at it, uh, after showing that sweet box of goodies from XLT Off-Road Bear, I think, all right, I'm gonna hold off on, on showing any others until tomorrow. Um, Cause I don't, I don't wanna make a really long video. So you guys just enjoy this uh, Chevelle. As it's spinning around on the table. Mike Dyson. My Louisiana brother. I did not forget about you, just know that. Um, like I said, you're you're up next on the uh, hit list for uh, the mailing out. Um, that will be happening sometime uh, this week. I will give you a heads up with a uh, tracking number, um, and hopefully uh, that'll get you going with uh, doing some more wheel swaps and uh, whatever. I know you enjoy that. Um, anyway, uh, to my subscribers, thank you so much for hanging out with me and uh, allowing me to show you what I have on tap, um, what was given to me um, as an REOK from XLT Off-Road Bear, my buddy Joe, everybody's buddy Joe, everybody's buddy, buddy Joe, everybody's yeah, everybody's buddy. He is. He's just 
He's just the guy that you just know that you're gonna like right off the bat. He just has that kind of personality. So, I'm Rick. You've been watching a whole lot of Zeb Channel. Uh, talk and diecast. Um, so I will probably be back on with another video tomorrow uh, to show off some more of my Hot Wheels um, because my Hot Wheel collection is growing since uh, my target started uh, to uh, bring in diecast. Um, it still uh, kind of blows me away when I was laid up. My wife and daughter go there and they're telling me that there's full pegs of die cast and nobody knows about it. And as soon as I'm able to get out and get up on my own and go over there, <laughs> it's just like going to every other store. <laughs> Empty pegs. <laughs> I was like, son of a bitch. Uh, but at least I know there is stuff over there now and I... I I feel a little more comfortable knowing that I can go there and at least occasionally find something um, as opposed to uh, having to purchase online. Um, Hot Wheels around here are hard to come by. Uh, they come in spurts and drug stores. Um, but like I said, Target, they usually get a, uh, a shipment in once a week but uh lately it's been uh kind of dry um they've been hitting on the hot wheels but not a lot um green light uh johnny lightning auto worlds uh basically nothing there's like a couple four by four trucks uh from green light and nothing else I asked one of the uh, people that work there um, if they could tell me when any shipments of green lights or Johnny Lightnings are coming in. So they scanned a barcode and they said, well, there's still four here on, uh, supposedly on the floor. And I looked at them and I'm like, yeah, I'm sure one of the guys in the back room already has them held off to the side for him um, and his, his eBay selling I'm sure that's what it is um, and I, I'm not the first person to think like that either I, I just believe that um, some of the guys who get hired uh, they get a little carte blanche with uh, getting first picks and stuff like that on diecast and they shouldn't be allowed to do that or just pick up as much as they want and whatever they want and leave the shelves bare just so they can go hack it online and make it more difficult for the rest of us people that are honest and want to go out and purchase it why do you guys think Hewitt's Hot Wheels does what he does because he has access to it and he's he's hurting the hackers um, in a big way and not to mention the guy is just generous um, but uh, my point is the hackers are killing the, the, the love and the enjoyment of it because it, you, you take a simple 99 cent dollar 49 car and because it's 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 a special car that most people are going to want. You're going to jack it up to 10 bucks and then charge 5 $6 for shipping. Yeah, come on. You, you guys are dickheads to do that. I mean, seriously. Um, you're, you're not making an honest buck. You're making a dishonest over 100% on, on that markup. Um, and it's not fair to the rest of us. Um, hackers are dickheads. I'm off my soapbox. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate my subscribers, uh, new and old. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and join the party. Um, I will catch you on a video probably tomorrow. So until then, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, 
take care of one another, and I'll catch you on my next video.